Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Eid Mubarak to all you people that are watching Smile to Jannah <laughs> It used to be a thing of conspiracies, a punchline to a really bad joke. But now it has become a sick reality. Uh, no, not Facebook deciding what's uh, extremism or not, even though that is a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm talking about an Israeli software called Pegasus that can hack any phone without the need of you clicking a button on your phone. Pegasus is probably the most advanced piece of spyware ever developed. It is effectively the most invasive form of surveillance imaginable. Any idea that you had that aspects of your life could be kept private and on the mobile phone are wrong. Good lord. The person that you're hacking won't know that they've been hacked. The phone won't become hot it won't slow down, it's virtually undetectable. And even if you were to check, yo, have I been hacked? You can't theoretically tell. Now this company has been giving access to countries that it deems fit. There's of course a long list of countries that have purchased it. There are also activists, journalists and politicians who have been a victim to this hack. This has been going on from 2016. So Forbidden Stories, which is a Paris-based non-profit media organization, flip and heck, that was a mouthful, and Amnesty International had initially access to the leaked list and shared access with media partners as part of the reporting consortium. So the people that have been victim to this are the opposition party in India. So Modi is being accused of treason. And of course there are many other leaks, you got the Arab uh, families as well and the likes. So the guy who's the co-founder of this spyware, yeah, so the company's NSO, but of course we know it's in Israel and a company like this cannot be allowed to even peek its head out of the ground without okay from the government. I mean, let's, let's be frank here, but we'll get to that bit. So they tried to go to this Omri Lavi's house. Excuse me, this is private property, so I would ask you kindly to go away. Uh, just one statement, like why do you continue to sell to governments that use Pegasus to target human rights activists and journalists? Say so go away or I'll call the police. He started this in Unit 8200 which is a unit of Israeli intelligence, part of the IDF, yeah, Israeli Defense Force. Which should beg the question, how much information do they really have? He's absolutely right, sir. The whistleblower Edward Snowden says that it should be banned from international sales, which I think it's obvious, but he goes on to say it should be treated like nuclear weapons. You know what I'm saying? It should be policed like that. Otherwise you're gonna get any other Tom, Dick or Harry dropping them. And let's face it, the only country to have dropped a nuclear weapon is the US. And Snowden goes, if they find a way to hack one iPhone, they found a way to hack them all. And this goes back to my initial question. This company could not exist without the permission of the Israeli government. I think we know that. But the question is why are fingers not being pointed towards Israel? They have a lot to answer for. A terrorist state like Israel cannot be trusted with something like this. This is absolutely ridiculous. And for you and I, don't be deceived into thinking, yo this is just happening to the higher ups, this is their business, it's not gonna happen to me. What have I got to hide? It's not about what have you got to hide. Are you going to let any stranger com come into your house, sit down with a camera? You're going to be like, what are you doing? He's like, hey, 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 I've been sent by the government. You don't need to be worried, mate, if you've got nothing to hide. You're like, I don't care, mate. Sling your rook. Go and do one, mate. This is a matter of privacy. I don't like you being here. So if it's happened to the higher ups, it's only a matter of time till it starts happening to you and me. Yeah, because let's face it, there are authoritarian governments out there that like to have their eye on the little man 
to see, uh, you know, is he is he doing what he's supposed to be doing or is he getting a bit out of line? At this point, if you want to get rid of it, want to get sure you don't have Pegasus, the only way to do so is get rid of your phone and change your mobile number. So what's the lesson to learn for you and me? I think the obvious lesson is don't become so dependent upon technology and don't allow your kids to become so dependent. How are you going to do that? you got to give them an alternative mate. you got to take them out to nature. you got to take them back to your motherland. That's right, to the villages. Get them used to that sort of lifestyle. Toiling and working rather than sitting and clicking. And don't trust technology with all your secrets. Yeah, you got to stop thinking of it as you know, an innocent device that's just there on your table and start realizing what it's actually capable of. In terms of breaking families apart via social media and you know I'm saying making us unsocial but also how it can be used against us and prying into our lives without our permission. That's pretty much all I gotta say guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.